Monday and welcome to another week of I Spy. The first thing that I see is that today is not a regular Sunday. Today is Father's Day. So we want to say Happy Father's Day to the men, whether they're dads, brothers, uncles, grandpas, that are taking active roles in the lives of others that they care about. Today we say thank you. It means so much and you're making such a difference. Keep up the great work. Now, before we get started on our day, I think we should do a little version of I Spy where we look for some dads. Are you guys ready? Let's go searching because we're going to spy some dads. Are you ready? Let's go. Do you guys see what I see? We have dad. I spy some dads today. Look. That's Vladimir. That's Valerie and Corinne's dad. Let's keep looking. Let's see how many other dads we spy. Do you see that? I spy another dad. Look! It's Walter, Elizabeth and Elijah's dad. Isn't that awesome, guys? Let's see how many other dads we can spy. Look over there. I see another one. Hey, guys. We're still spying for dads. Do you know who we found? Look! It's Stanley, Kaden's dad. Let's see how many other dads we can find. Are you guys ready? I spy more dads. Let's look. Guys, do you know who I spy? Look! spy different kinds of dad so God created all families differently they're not all the same and some people play different roles than others in our lives like Mr. Adley he's special he's Grayson's stepdad you know what else I spy today some of us have different people in our lives that play that special part even though we're missing someone it's someone very special He's Jade and a Jaden's grandpa, Jerome. But we're not done searching. Guess what? We spy more dads. Look, we have Omar. Chanel's dad. Let's keep looking. I know we can find some more. Thank you guys. Bye. 
Now let's get started with all that Miss Michelle said. You know what she says every week, guys. What's your favorite time, is it? It's worship time! When I look around, when I look around, I can see it. When I listen close to the beautiful sound, I can hear it. So that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Ooh, you know what time it is. It's time to hear a story. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy. And my neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spy with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. 
We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great! All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend, Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, became happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm going to show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! I just love that story because it showed us how everyone can love Jesus. And when we love Jesus, 
It shows us that we can go out to the world and love others just like he loved us. And that's wonderful because that means we can believe in Jesus. And like we're learning this month, who can believe in Jesus? You can believe in Jesus. So I want you guys to go like this, put your thumbs up, point them towards yourself. And when I say who can believe in Jesus, I want you guys to say, I can believe in Jesus. Are you guys ready? Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right, guys. I hope you guys had fun today. It was very exciting. So we're going to let elementary take away from here. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning at 8.50 a.m. We're going to start our very first virtual VBS. And this year we're doing concrete and cranes. So I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you stay tuned because we're going to have fun activities and games and giveaway prizes. So tomorrow morning at 8.50. I'll see you guys there. So we're going to let elementary take it from here. See you later, guys. That's right, tomorrow is BBS! Yeah. But before we get too excited about BBS, you guys are probably wondering why we and Trinity got this time. Well, Trinity, what is today? Today is Father's Day! And you guys, we salute all the fathers. You guys are amazing. My father's a hero because he's always been there for me, no matter what. My father is a hero because he's never hesitated to give me anything I need. So, we have a special song coming up just for you fathers, but that's later on. But before that, you know what we gotta do, kids. Everyone, everyone, down to the ground. One, two, three, what's up, Milton? Relationship time! Yes, it is. Everybody say yes. What's up? I'm David Sun. This is Dino and this is Mr. Gideon. This is week three. Um, such a beautiful day out here today. Um, you know, this 
We got have a game for you guys that we're gonna be playing in a bit. But first, I wanna talk about uh, what this month has been about. It's been about focus, you know, focusing on Jesus, keeping your eyes on Him. And now, yeah, I love that focus. There you go. And now, I wanna give you uh, the verse, which is Hebrews 11, verse 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for, it is being sure of what we do not see. And the bottom line is, knowing Jesus help you face your fears. Amen, amen, brother. Can I get a high five? All right. All right, guys, um, I'm going to explain the game. So this game is called Running Errands. So there are two cones on each side. Gideon will be over there. Nino will be over here. Now, I'm going to be swinging this football. Yes, yep, I'm going to be swinging it. And they're going to be trying to grab some items from me, from this chair. So they have to grab a cone, or they have to grab hockey sacks. Or they can grab some keys to a new car that I just bought. Okay. Or those, right? So now if I hit them, they have to start back at the cone. Now if they run with an item and the item drops before they get past the cone, they have to bring the item back to me and start back over. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Amp up key. Amp up key is here, baby! I'm back! this game it was about focus i had to make sure i focus on mr davidson swing i had to make sure i time it perfectly because if i missed it by a second a millisecond i would got hit so in life kids sometimes focus come in the form of timing something perfectly so remember that focus is, is a big very important out of breath you got to see how tired he is y'all see that's the problem, yeah. What's up? Talk to me now. So you need to be focused. Uh huh. He got he got me right there. Yes, sir. I'm gonna give him that. He not the Emperor King though. I am. <laughs> he not the Emperor King. Mm. All right, guys. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed today. I hope y'all enjoyed this game. It's Woo! called Running Errands. Don't forget to play it with your friends, your family, whoever. It's a, an amazing game. And take turns swinging the football or the pillow or whatever item you choose to use. And we will see you soon. See you soon.
everybody, <laughs> Erica here. I'm super excited for today because all week I've been working on something really cool <laughs> and I haven't told anyone about it yet. So it's basically top secret, top secret. I really want to tell you guys about it. So I'm just going to have faith that you won't spoil the secret. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. You see, ever since I first heard the story of Saul, also known as Paul, because Paul and Saul are the same person, they're Saul, and how he couldn't see for three whole days after he met Jesus in a bright light on the road to Damascus, I've been thinking about what I would do if I couldn't see. It's pretty hard to fathom what that would be like. <sighs> So, I realized that if I couldn't focus with my eyes, I would want to focus with my other senses. So, I invented, you ready for this? Supersonic hearing helpers! Oh. Ooh. Are they cool? They, ma ah, they magnify sounds like crazy. So that's why I'm whispering. Because even just a whisper basically sounds like I'm shouting at the top of my lungs. Yesterday, when I put them on for the first time, it actually kind of hurt my ears because I was hearing everything. And I mean everything. Like the squirrels across the street. And the neighbors three houses down. Joe, we're out of cereal. We are out of cereal. We need more cereal, Joe. But neither of those compared to the fiesta-themed birthday party that was happening on the other side of town. I have been craving cake ever since. Oh, sorry, I, I couldn't keep listening to myself shout like that. Anyway, no worries. I simply grabbed a few advanced technological essentials. of go, we gotta get going on the story today. Time to hear what happened to Saul after he lost his sight. <laughs> See you guys back in a jiffy. Oh, it's really dark. Ooh, it's really dark. Can we, can we have a nightlight or something? Okay. Woo, what's going on? Woo! Oh, 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 great kids, welcome back. Welcome back, that was an amazing amp up. Wasn't it, Jimmy? Oh my gosh, they never disappoint us. I think all church has the best amp up ever. Best church in Orlando. Great kids, woo! All right, this next song, you guys, we're on to song number two, and it's called Remain in My Love. Remember, guys, we should always be focused on remaining in God's love. That's right. Now, you guys already know, everybody down to the ground. Let's go. One, two, three, what time is it? What's the time? The Bible 
It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 10 through 31. Ananias, a believer in the city of Damascus, paced the floor of his room. What will we do, Lord? Several days before, the Jesus followers in Damascus had received terrible news. Saul Tarsus is on his way. He has permission from the high priest to arrest anyone who follows the way of Jesus and take them to Jerusalem. Ananias shivered as he stared at his door. Why haven't we heard anything yet? He knew that at any moment, guards could knock on his door. A voice could shout out his name. Ananias. <sighs> Ananias had nearly jumped out of his skin. And then he quickly realized that the voice hadn't come from outside. Um, it hadn't come from inside either. There was only one person it could be. Yes, Lord? Yep, Ananias knew that this was a vision from God. So he took a deep breath and waited for what the Lord had to say. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. <gasps> Ananias gasped in shock. God wanted him to seek out his enemy? Saul is praying. In a vision, he has seen a man come and place his hands on him so he could see again. That man's name is Ananias. <sighs> a million thoughts tumbled through Ananias' head. At last, he found his voice. I've heard many reports about this man. They say he has done great harm to your people in Jerusalem. Now he has come here to arrest all those who worship you. It must have seemed like a home run argument to Ananias, but God responded. Go, I have chosen this man to work for me. He will announce my name to the Gentiles and to their kings. He will also announce my name to the people of Israel. Uh, I, well, Okay, here goes. So Ananias grabbed his cloak and hurried through the dusty city. But as he finally reached Straight Street, his steps slowed. He forced himself to breathe evenly as he approached the home of Judas. Help me, Jesus. Give me the words to say. Ananias stood in front of the door for a long moment, gathering courage. Then he knocked. Boom, boom, boom. What do you want? Ananias shared his vision. As Judas led Ananias through the house, Judas explained, Saul won't eat or drink anything, not since they led him here three days ago. Ananias peered into the back room. A man was kneeling there, his hands knotted in prayer. And even though the man's eyes were open, they didn't focus on anything. Who's there? Before he could lose his nerve, Ananias went straight to Saul and put his hands on Saul's shoulders. Brother Saul, you saw the Lord Jesus. He appeared to you on the road as you were coming here. He has sent me so that you will be able to see again. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. As Saul blinked in surprise, something like scales dropped from his eyes. I, I, my eyes. I can see. Saul leapt to his feet and faced Ananias. I need to be baptized this instant. Now Saul, also known as Paul, had always been relentless in his quest to wipe out the believers. But now that he himself had met Jesus, he was equally determined to share the good news. Within days, he started preaching at Jewish synagogues. Jesus is the Son of God. Isn't Saul the man who caused great trouble in Jerusalem for those who worship Jesus? Hasn't he come here to take them as prisoners? Though Saul now believed in Jesus, he still had much to learn, and he wanted to discover all the answers himself with God's help. So he spent several years studying the scriptures, and after that time, he came back teaching and preaching about Jesus as fiery as ever. Jesus is the Messiah. 
He fulfills every promise in Scripture. The Jews in Damascus and even the governor of the city uh, were angry at all the um, upset Saul was causing. Time for him to uh, sleep with the fishes, shall we say? They made plans to capture and kill Saul, but Saul and his friends discovered the plot. It appears they've even guarded the gates. That leaves the windows. Saul's friends led him to a home built into the city wall. When it was dark, they brought out a large basket. You've got to be kidding me. You really want to try the gates? Saul stepped into the container, and his friends lowered him out the window and down the wall on a rope. Never thought I'd end up as a basket case. <sighs> Once safely out of Damascus, Saul set out for Jerusalem. Home sweet home. When he arrived in Jerusalem, Saul immediately tried to join the group of believers there, but they were afraid of him at first. One man, Barnabas, had already heard Saul's story. Cheer up, man. I know you're the real deal. Let me take you to the apostles. So Barnabas did exactly as he promised. He took Saul to Peter and James and the other leaders of the early church and told them the whole story. So Saul stayed with the believers in Jerusalem and preached there just as boldly as he'd done in Damascus. And once again, a group of Jews became upset with him. Someone send that man to sleep with the fishes. But once again, the believers helped Saul escape. This time he went back to his hometown of Tarsus to wait for God's next directions. In the meantime, the group of believers in Judea and Samaria continued to grow through the power of God's Spirit. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, you're still not in. Oh. <laughs> ha, hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best long term solution. Luckily, I was awake for today's story. It was out of sight. Oh, here we go again. <sighs> Saul couldn't see for three days. I bet he was so scared. And Ananias, too. God wanted Ananias to help a man that wanted to throw Ananias in prison. But Ananias faced his fears and Saul could see again! <laughs> Except now he could also see the truth. Jesus was the son of God, Israel's long awaited Messiah, the savior of the world. When Saul became a believer and got filled with the Holy Spirit, he was completely changed. The Holy Spirit gave him courage and he began teaching everyone the truth about Jesus. Even when people wanted to arrest Saul for talking about Jesus, he still bravely told everyone he could about the Son of God. And lots of people began following Jesus because of Saul. It's like they were wearing supersonic hearing helpers and could hear everything Jesus was telling them through Saul! Wow! Oh, 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 too loud. Okay. <laughs> so, when you put your faith in Jesus and decide to follow him, he promises to always be with you. He gives you the Holy Spirit to help you in all sorts of different ways. And even though you can't see God, he can help you feel confident enough to try something new or brave enough to tell the truth or strong enough to be kind to someone who maybe hasn't been so kind to you. He can help you face your fears. That's the one thing to remember today. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. <laughs> I think I need to uh, face a fear myself. <laughs> the fear, too much sound. These pillows just aren't working for me. Do I dare? Seriously, there's a rod of cereal again. Have you ever heard of buying in bulk? Wow, what a Sunday turned out. What a Sunday. And what's the one thing that we said today, bud? Father's Day! So, Father, again, we salute you. And so now we have one last song that we have a special that we have in there. And we truly ask you, I don't know, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You are my hero. You are my hero. We love you guys. Honor you. Mwah. Mwah.
Christmas. I'm a hero because he always protects me and comes with me when I need help. And he also protects other people with his job. My daddy is my hero because he would do anything for me and he loves me for who I am and not for who other, who other people want me to be. Happy Father's Day. My father is my hero because he's sweet, caring, and kind, and he spends time with me. Happy Father's Day. My dad is a hero because he does his best for me and my family. My dad is my hero because he's always there for me. He's very caring for the family and he would do anything to make sure I'm okay. Since I was little, my dad has been making sure I would grow up to be an amazing person and I'm very glad to have a dad like mine. My dad is my hero because he's always there for me. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Everybody down to the ground. One, two, three, what time is it? Worship! 